Hello, my dear fourth grade friends. Today we are doing unit four, lesson four. So four, four, four. Uh, and it's on page 145 of our book. So go ahead, grab that and probably your whiteboard. Um, and let's jump in. So uh, in this activity, we are talking about comparison word problems, right? And you probably remember from like second and third grade doing comparison bars, which look a lot like this, right? We would always have a whiteboard over here. We always have, you know, the big bar, the little bar, and the bubble number, right? And so if you had a word problem that was like, Caroline had five buttons and Tony had seven more buttons than Caroline, then you'd say, okay, who has the big bar? Whoever has more. Tony has more than Caroline. Tony gets the big bar. Caroline gets the little bar. Caroline had five and the difference was seven. So then you kind of math mountain it like that. <laughs> you say, okay, what's five plus seven? And it's 12. That should sound familiar to you. If not, I do have videos about comparison bars. So you can check that out later. Um, or now if you want. Now we're continuing with that idea, but we're also gonna use it for multiplication sometimes, okay? So let's read what it says. Um, to prepare for a family gathering, Sarah and Ryan made soup. Sarah made two quarts, Ryan made six quarts. How nice of them. You can compare amounts using multiplication and division. Let R equal the number of quarts Ryan made, so R for Ryan, and let S equal the number of quarts Sarah made, so S for Sarah. Ryan made three times as many quarts as Sarah. So we have our bar, Ryan's is six, Sarah's is two, and you can think about this two, three times would add up all together to six, and then it would be the same amount. This lining up of equal amounts is really what makes it like a functioning comparison. So uh, the difference, if you wanted to find the difference, you would do two minus or sorry, six minus uh, two, right? And you get four. But if you're trying to see how many of Sarah's amount, Sarah's amount was two, and there are three twos, that would equal Ryan's six. Okay, now we're gonna try it ourselves, ready? So Natasha made 12 quarts of soup, Manuel made three quarts. We're gonna draw comparison bars. One big bar. Um, and then before I draw the little bar, I'm going to decide Natasha will be N, Manuel is going to be M, so N is going to be the big bar, he made more, and then I'm going to ask myself, how do you get, like, if we're looking for a multiple, what do you multiply three by? to get 12. Hopefully you've been practicing facts. Three times four is 12, right? So I'm gonna break this into fourths. We have Manuel's three right here, and then Natasha's 12 is right there. And then I'm gonna take another color. You can think about how it's gonna take four of Manuel's three excuse me, to equal 12, right? So that's Asha. Made four times as many quarts as Manuel. So to write a multiplication that compares these amounts, you could do Natasha equals Manuel times how many? Once, twice, three times, four times. Manuel four times. Which then you would, you know, turn turn the M, which M equals three. So then it'd be three times four, and Natasha would equal 12, right? So then we'll write a division equation that compares those amounts. So you could say, uh, Natasha, if she were to divide her amount into four, it would be equal to what Manuel had made. 
Multiplication is the putting together of equal groups. How can this idea be used to explain why a times as many comparison situation is multiplication? So when you see times as many, it's like you're duplicating the amount that somebody has or, or triplicating or something like that. You are repeating that same amount multiple times. Kind of hard to put in a sentence. Uh, so the larger amount is equal to the smaller amount. repeatedly smaller amount several times I don't know it's kind of hard to put that in an explanation okay pause so you can write that down and then turn the page when you're ready here we go write an equation to solve each problem draw a model if you need to there are 24 students in the science club there are two times as many students in the drama club. How many students are in the drama club? So we're gonna draw. Which group is bigger? There are two times as many students in the drama club. So the drama club is the bigger group and the science club is the smaller group. We know that the science club if you were to have it two times, pretend those are even, <laughs> well, they're not, but it's fine. If you were to have the science club once and then twice, it would be equal to the same amount as the drama club. So then we're just having 24 times two, or 24 plus 24, put it that way. So that would be 38. So write an equation, drama club equals science club times two or you could say drama club equals plugging in the science amount 24 times two so then d all right all right next one if you want to give this one a shot on your own go ahead if you want to stay with me that's fine there are 180 pennies in Miguel's coin collection. And that amount, 180, is five times as many as the number of coin collection, or the number of quarters. So we're comparing pennies to quarters. Okay, so how many quarters does he have? So let's draw our little model here. Not quite sure how big that one is. So the pennies is the larger amount. It's five times as many um, as the quarters. So pennies, quarters, do a little cursive cue there. So that 180 is, we're gonna have to make this and make it like fifths. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So whatever this amount is, five times is the 180, or 180 divided by five is whatever the quarter amount is. So we'll do pennies, or if pennies equals quarters times five, or uh, quarters equals 180 divided by five, and then all we have to do there, here we'll use the space right here, 180 divided by five. Five goes into 18 three times, and you get 15 minus that zero down. Five goes into 30 six times, so it'll be Q equals 36. All right, next one. Fred has 72 football cards, and Scott has six football cards. How many times as many football cards does Fred have as Scott has? It's such a weird sentence, but it's basically saying 
72 is 6 how many times, right? So, turn that into a sentence. 72 is 6 times... Uh, let's do C for cards. So then it's basically 72 divided by 6. 6 goes into 7 once. 6. So got 2 on down, and now you have 12. So 6 times 12. So it's 12 times. So Fred has 12 times as many cards as Scott has. That's basically what you're saying there. Alrighty, last one, my dears. Audrey has 1,263 centimeters of fabric. And that, this amount right here, is three times as much fabric as she needs to make some curtains. So here's the equation, 1,263 equals, because of that is, three times the amount that she needs. Three times the needed amount. So then how do we find that answer? Well, we're going to go 1,263 divided by 3 equals n. You know how that operation can be switched around, right? With our inverse operations, right? Right? Okay. So then right here we're going to do 1,263 divided by 3. 3 goes into 12 four times, correct? Um, 12, 0, bring that 6 down. 3 goes into 6 two times. You get 6, right? 0. 3 goes into 3 one time. So she needs 421 centimeters of that fabric. All right, hopefully you're feeling good about this. Um, if not, we're gonna keep practicing, so no stress, and I will catch you next time. Go see if you have an assignment. Practice your math facts. Bye-bye.